Hello beautiful people, it's Davina from the London Curls and today I'm going to show you how I get my hair thick, healthy and of course red using my henna routine. Stay tuned right to the end to get a discount code from where I buy my henna from, hennaboy.co.uk. Now first of all you need to get your hands on a good quality, body art quality henna. That's really important, you don't want to use anything that could irritate the skin. And then I add these three main ingredients. First of all I use my green tea. So I've got about six bags in there that have just been in boiling water and I've left them to cool down and obviously release. Then I use coconut milk, which is of course a natural deep conditioner and also is mildly acidic, which will help the dye release. And then of course I use coconut oil. I'll give all of the reasons for why I use these ingredients below in more detail, but coconut oil is very moisturizing. Now, first of all, what you need to do is you need to start pouring in that green tea. So I mix it up. Of course, it goes a bit crumbly at first, but slowly add a bit at a time until you're left with a thick mixture. You don't want it to be sloppy at all. At no point do you want this to be a sloppy mixture, otherwise it will get messy and stain stuff. I've learned the hard way. Now after I've got the thick mixture using the green tea, I take some coconut milk. Now I tend to skim off the coconut milk at the top because I want the cream almost, so I don't want the watery bit underneath. Then you mix it up until you've got a cake batter mixture. And then I add some coconut oil, sorry I didn't show you how I did that. And then I wrap it up. So I just wrap it up in some cling film, ready to leave it to allow the dye to release for a few hours. I put it in the hottest place in my house, which at the moment is a conservatory, because we've got sun in the UK for a change, which is always fun. And yeah, leave it for two hours, allow that dye to release. Now within that time, I need to shampoo my hair using my new favorite shampoo, which is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Sheer Moisture Shampoo, which just smells so, so good. You need to shampoo your hair just so it's ready and clean for you to apply the henna after I've washed it I take either Vaseline or this is actually from Lush again I'll tell you all of the products underneath make sure you use something like mineral oil or petroleum or yeah Vaseline whatever just to make sure that it doesn't absorb and stain your skin this is an exact reason why you shouldn't use mineral oil and so on in your hair because it doesn't allow things to absorb Putting gloves on, I then apply my henna bit by bit. So I start from the bottom and work my way up. I don't try and detangle my hair because it's all so thick, like mud really. But I do just smooth it through, making sure that all of my hair is absolutely covered in it. Now again, this is why it's important it's not sloppy because it will stain anything. I've got like a splodge of red on my um, floor in my bathroom, which I'm not very happy about. So I've learnt to make sure that the mixture is not too sloppy. Once I've finished applying it, I simply stick it down so it should be hard enough to actually stick down to your head and not to fall down. Then I take off my gloves and I get some cling film and wrap it up. So you want to leave your henna on for a minimum of four hours. I tend to leave it on for six to eight hours. I either put it on at the beginning of the day, like on a Sunday, or even um, before I go to bed, as long as I'm sure that none of it will, there's no chance, sorry, for whatever's on my head that's wrapping it and covering it um, will come off and will stain like my bed sheets and so on. So after I've wrapped it up, you need to wipe off all of that brown mess that is left from the henna. So I wipe it off my skin, and as you can see, it comes off really easily, which again shows you that mineral oil and so on will stop anything from absorbing into your skin, your hair, whatever. So it's not a moisturizer, it's a sealant and a very effective one. Then I just wrap my hair. So bearing in mind, this was before I actually broke my ankle. So I simply just tied my hair up and I put it in a turban. Now, even if I was to do this um, while I'm in the house, I would still wrap it in a turban because the more heat that you apply to your hair and the more warm that you allow your hair to be, it actually allows the dye to release more. So I just wrap it up, ready to go about my business without looking like a crazy person with cling film on my head. Now, after washing it, which just consists of dunking your hair in water and using conditioner to get it off you, you need to use a deep conditioner really thick moisturizing deep conditioner so i decided to try the sheer licious conditioner that i got at a recent hair show the afro hair and beauty hair show i won't lie i wasn't particularly impressed by it i feel like you need to use a really really moisturizing conditioner and this didn't quite cut it however i won't knock it and i will try it again but you need to use something that's equivalent to a conditioner that will moisturize your hair after a really strong protein treatment that's how your hair feels after you've first applied the henna because of course it is a strengthening treatment and it does leave your hair quite dry 
So after applying it, I put it into a top knot and again wrapped my hair in cling film as I always do, which again is important just to allow your hair to really get to work with your conditioner. After wrapping it up and then washing it out after about two hours, I was left with my lovely red tipped ends. So this is my hair after I finish. Um, normally it takes about two days for it to oxidize and to turn to its true red, but I was very happy with my results as I always am. Now you can also go and get your hands on some body art quality henna. Head over to hennaboy.co.uk and use the quote henna those curls to get a 10% discount. You can thank me later. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment and subscribe.